Hey guys, welcome to the video tutorial on the fastest way to solve bisection method problem using calculator. In this tutorial, I won't be teaching the underlying theory behind the problem. I'll just teach you to use your calculator in the best way possible and get accurate result very fast. For this, I have taken this example. Now in order to solve this problem using the calculator, we have to first make sure that the calculator is in radian mode. Now, since the error uh, for this problem, we will solve this problem up to four decimal places so we'll fix the value of the uh, variables so fix four now the value of the variable is fixed up to four decimal places now we need to write a little program so we have written the uh, program here this uh, this ex this is one first expression and this from here is second expression in the first expression we have assigned the average value of a and b to the variable x and then in the second expression we have calculated we have calculated the value of fx now we'll just use calculator to get these results so hit the calc button now the uh, the calculator is asking the value of a and we have already used um, one as value of a so we are going to hit equal so 0 0.5 now we have to use 0 since the initial value of b is 0 we will use 0 for b so we get the value of x that is 0 0.5 now to calculate fx n we hit equal again so this is the value of fx n now again we hit equal so uh, since the um, value of fx n is positive we uh, continue with the value of a and we will change the value of b to value of x n so it equal here. Here we need to assign the value of b, uh, the value of x. So, yeah, type x and equal to. Now this is the value of x. So now uh, to calculate fx n, it equal again, and this is the value of fx n. Since the value of fx n is negative, now we assign now we assign the value of x to the a. So it equal again. Here we write x. Here is 0 0.65 and again equal 0 0.0015 and again since that is negative we give this value a value of x b is same so we get the value of x we get the value of x n now again since it is positive we continue with the value of a we assign value x to the b and we get x so we continue to do this and we will get the value final value as 0 0.6243 as the answer of the problem.